this is why it's because of the COVID. The lodge is shut down, which is why the gate's closed. Because normally you can get closer to the lodge to park. Interesting. Heading out on the Air Al Merrill Loop. Gonna do have to do some road walking because there's a gate here. I mean, I knew I was gonna do some road walking, but it's gonna be a lot further than I had anticipated. And by a lot, I mean like a half mile longer. Well, there's Ravine Lodge. And we walk way down to it. And this great little covered overlook over there in the trees. Probably so you can look at the stream, which is just a trickle currently. And this great walkway down to the lodge, because Perkins up here. Well, now we know why it's called the Al Merrill Loop. Here's where we split. We'll come down the ridge trail and go on up the Al Merrill Loop. All right, we're gonna take a quick little detour to the John Rand cabin. I don't know how far away it is. The guy just says, there's a spur trail to the cabin. So, it could be just around the corner here or half a mile to a mile. I guess we'll find out. So the trail goes this way, but then there's this dead end trail right there, which I want to try, but I do not know how far it goes. I do have to work this afternoon, so I can't add an extra couple of miles to my trek this morning. So maybe I'll come back at some point, see where that actually I lie. I'm just gonna take a quick peek. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it today. So I'll have to come back at some point, check out where that dead end goes. Probably it's right around the corner and then I'll be like, oh man, I did this whole hike again for 0.1 mile. But oh well. Back to the trail I'm actually doing today. So that I have time to get home, shower, before work. I guess I kind of assumed this trail would be really popular. And there's a clear footpath here. But based on the amount of growth here narrowing in from the quarter of trees, I feel like maybe it's not as popular as I thought. Granted, with the lodge closed due to COVID, probably not a lot of people have been hiking up that long road to do this little side trail and not climb Moose Lock. So that's probably, that's probably the reason. This is probably much more popular in non-COVID times. And I just happen to be here during a plague. So I could tell by the trail map and the guy mentioned this too, where this is just a long set of switchbacks. I didn't realize how close they are, because look at that, that's the field sort of clearing where I saw that ski trail dead end. <laughs> and I've just done like half a mile and I am, what? 100 feet from it. <laughs> oh well, keep going up, barely. Look at this little pretty section, surrounded by trees. Makes me think of like some carriage road in England leading to some manor deep in the woods. 
which is entirely for movies because I've never been to England. And for all I know, it looks nothing like this. But in my imagination, that's where I'm heading. The country estate. Just a little outlook. In honor of the Dartmouth men who served in World War II. That's nice. I don't know if you can see it. We've got Moose Lock there ahead of us. Once again, wearing its beret of clouds. A little tap there so we can't see the peak. Um, probably a little later today, but I'm not going back this way, so. We'll forever be in sh shrouded in clouds, at least for this hike. Very pretty. My gosh, what a beautiful day. Gorgeous. I hope it's just beautiful tomorrow, because tomorrow I am planning to go to the summit. And knowing my luck, it'll be terrible weather. Well, here we are at Height of Land. I just came up there and now I'm heading down there. So just a little point right here where I'm standing. Just the tallest ground on the trail. There's my feet. Anyways, here we go, heading down. I think another mile or so before I hit the Squam Ridge Trail. Maybe less than that. We'll see. Here's a great little path. Got moss covered stumps, ferns, roots. Oh gosh. It's a little wild path. Oh, so beautiful. Places like these that make me think of fairy tale lands. Well, I guess I am in the Shire. New Hampshire, what? And just like that, we're at the end of the Almero Loop. So, thoughts? It was a great hike. Uh, those switchbacks were very easy, so the elevation was practically non existent. I just felt like I was. Slightly walking uphill the entire one way. Very easy to do. Fun hike. Got a little bit of everything you notice there. The sort of mythical lands. The wide path with a corridor of trees. It was very pretty. Very nice little hike. Um, great. I think it would be great for children or um, people with a little bit less mobility or less fitness to get up a tall mountain uh, but now we're moving on to the Squam Ridge Trail whose sign is down here somewhere looks like it's uh, that end it's falling off but it is this way so that's where I'm heading next heading downhill um, this trail also heads up too, so I'll finish the upper portion of it at some point when I do the, um, when I come up the mountain from the other side, is the plan. I don't remember what the trail's called, but Beaverbrook, I think. Beaverbrook, yeah. I'll do it when I do Beaverbrook. All right, heading down. Here's a great spot where a couple of streams are merging. We've got a nice bridge to cross. Let me get up there. Look at this great field of wildflowers. The contrast isn't showing up as well on video, but just turn the corner and there's all these purple flowers. So pretty. 
look, it's a bee. Another field of wildflowers. This time I have to walk through them. Fun. Well, the guide warned that I would have to turn right at a gate or a fence and an arrow, and I guess that's what this is. I thought it would be like a fence fence, like a normal fence, but I believe that was washed out down there, so they're, they have you tracking down this way. Uh, but yeah, definitely not what I was expecting. But I've been walking along the stream the entire way. Beautiful. Very noisy. But the good kind of noisy. White noise. Nature noise. Alright. Well, that was quick. I think I crossed this, this bridge here. The arrow seems to be pointing to the left, but I think I go straight across the bridge and then I must be close to the parking lot. If there's a sign for it. Well, I'm back to the fork I took at the beginning. That sign about the parking lot was misleading because it was another half mile before I got here. But look at this. I did not notice this on the way up. Look at all the yellow leaves on the trail. It is September and I'm starting to see the signs. And I'm conflicted because no one wants summer to end, but at the same time, fall, one of the best seasons, can we all agree? Pumpkin spice this place up gladly. Fallen leaves, fireplaces. Wetter weather. Yeah, no. So I'm both sad to see our summer go. But so happy it's fall. But it's not fall yet. We still got technically two weeks. Two weeks to the start of fall. The literal start of fall. So here's the little outlook I was talking about earlier. By the river the lodge. Got some benches here you can sit out and look at the pipe with water coming out of it. I don't think there's really anything to... I thought there was like a waterfall or something. Maybe when water's high that pipe is a waterfall but I am. This is the path down to the lodge. So there is a road up from the lodge as well then it goes to my car so I think I'm gonna go down to the lodge do a lap around it maybe take a look because I am hella nosy there's like a ton of buildings I thought it was just one but we got some buildings over here we got this big one right here we got the back of it and over another building over there so it's like a compound Probably one of them is like a maintenance or where a groundskeeper lives or person who maintains the property lives. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the craftsmanship. So cool. Beautiful lodge. And there's the front. Very beautiful. Along with the sign that says all trails this way, and I uh, <laughs> did not go this way. I found them another way. The question is, how do I get back down to the road? We'll just keep walking. There's even more buildings down there. Here's another sign saying all trails that way. It looks like that's the road that then goes up to the main lodge up there and connects to the trail I just took. But now it's to the road. To walk all the way back to my car. Fun, fun. Got a podcast going now, so I should be entertained. 
All right, I'm back in my car. Just finished the trail. About to head home. And it was a great little trail. Fantastic. Beautiful day for it. Oh my gosh, there's this warm breeze that just smells like summertime. So you know, I did like that shot of the fall leaves. I then stepped out and it was like this warm breeze that smelled like warmth and summer and sunshine. So yeah, just gorgeous day, gorgeous weather. Um, so great hike, really quick and easy, had an enjoyable time. And now I'm about to head home and I'm thinking tomorrow I was gonna come back because I'm doing, going to the summit. But already the crowds are collecting. I'm here where you can park and there's like people with kids and I was thinking there would be less people with kids because school's back in session. It's September, it's after Labor Day, but apparently that's wrong. So looks like I will, I thought I was done with the before dawn hiking because that's what I usually do is get up before dawn, get here on the mountain so that I can have most of the hike to myself. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna have to do an early one again, even though I thought I was done with that for a while until leaf peeping season when everyone's here for their foliage. It gets crazy busy again, so. But I'm not quite done, I guess. So tomorrow morning, 3.30, wake up call.